VST plugins and rewire devices. Traction's basic functions can be expanded by adding VST format plugins or rewire slave devices. VST plugins appear in the same new filters list as Traction's native filters, and a number of them are automatically installed along with Traction. The Mackie folder contains various powerful dynamics processors, and your installation may have also included third party plugins from companies such as Linplug. Unlike some of its rivals, Traction does not have specific places where you must use effects or where you must use instruments. You can arrange your filters in any order you like. But of course, it doesn't make sense to send audio to a synth that is only expecting a MIDI input, so Traction will usually flag up a little warning on that track if you try. Some plugins do not have their own interfaces. These plugs will have their parameters displayed in the properties panel at the bottom of the screen in the same way as the native traction filters. Most plugs do have their own interface, however, and these will launch in a separate window when you choose a new plug from the list or when you click their filter icons. Presets can be loaded and saved via the properties panel, though some plugs also provide their own separate preset management systems on the main interface. If you want to install more plugins, you will need to click Settings at the top and then the Plugins tab on the left to find the VST Plugin Settings page. At the top we have a list of directories for traction to search for plugs. To add another directory, click Add Path and point traction to the folder containing the plugins. You can add several new directories if you need to, or if you prefer, you could create a single folder with all your plugins organised into subfolders and add just this one directory. Before you can use the plugs, you need to scan the new directories. By default, Traction will scan for new plugins on startup, but if, like me, you have a lot of them, you may find it better to turn this feature off. Either way, you can force a rescan at any time by pressing Rescan Plugin Directories and choosing either a full rescan, which can take quite a long time if you have as many as I do, or a quick search for plugs that have been recently added or updated. Traction will close your edit first, so you will be prompted to save it if you haven't already. Each plug will be initialised during the scan, and any that do not respond as it expects will be flagged as bad files and will not be loaded again. These files are displayed in the Files to Ignore When Searching box. If you think a file has been listed here incorrectly, you can try to scan it again by editing the list and rescanning. If Traction repeatedly fails to recognise a plug, you should check the plug is properly installed. Choosing a full rescan will clear the ignored list and scan all directories again. If you now open an edit, the new filter list should contain all the plugs in your newly scanned directories. If you have organised your plugin files into subfolders, then this structure will be recreated in the filter list. This is essential if you have as many plugs as I do. I like to categorise them broadly by their function, so I have a folder for Dynamics plugs and another for EQ, but you can organise them by any criteria that makes sense to you. The style of the filter menu can be changed to the old style tree view via the user interface tab of the settings page. You can now insert your plugins onto tracks in the same way as the native traction filters. MIDI and audio connections will be made for you automatically. If the plug is an effect, it will process any audio it receives from the object to its left and pass the results onto the object to its right. If it is an instrument, it will process any MIDI it receives from the object to its left and convert it into audio, which is passed to the next filter in the chain. Generally speaking, an instrument will need to be the first filter in the chain so that it receives MIDI from the clips on that track and turns it into audio, which can then pass through a further chain of effects filters if needed. Some filters will pass MIDI data onto their outputs, however, and some will allow you to process it on the way. For example, the native traction volume and pan filter can be placed before an instrument in the chain, and if the Apply to MIDI Velocities option is selected in the Properties panel, it will scale the velocity data, 
which might translate to a volume change in the audio depending on the instrument you use and its settings. Similarly, the native pitch shifter filter can either be used after an instrument to process its audio output, which will degrade the audio quality somewhat, or it can be used before the instrument, in which case it will transpose its MIDI input and the audio quality will not be affected at all. Some plugs have more than two audio inputs or outputs. For example, the Mackie Stereo Sidechain Compressor has three inputs, as can be seen if you add a patch bay filter immediately before it. The patch bay filter also provides a quick, easy way to deal with multi-output plugs such as Linplug's RM4. Multiple inputs and outputs can also be routed to or from different tracks by using a rack. This will be explained properly in the rack filters section. To use rewire slave devices, you must first ensure that the rewire option is turned on in the plugins tab of the settings page. If you need to turn this back on, you will be prompted to restart traction. Now switch back to the edit, drag the new filter icon to the relevant track and choose the rewire device filter from the traction filters folder. In the properties panel, we should now see an option to choose the device. This will list all rewire slave devices installed on your system. Once selected, we have further options to choose which of that device's audio outputs are fed to the outputs of the rewire filter, and which of its MIDI ports receive the MIDI that arrives at the input of the rewire filter. Rebirth has no MIDI inputs, so I get no choices there, but the audio output channels have several options. For now, I will leave these at the default mix left and mix right and will launch Rebirth itself. Rebirth will realise that there is a rewire master device running, will connect its main left and right outputs to the rewire filter we just created and will now automatically play and stop in sync with traction. The audio from Rebirth emerges from the rewire filter exactly as if it were a VST plugin and can be mixed and processed with further filters in the usual way. If you wish, you can go further and create multiple rewire filters for the same device. This will allow you to route individual outputs from the rewire device to separate channels in traction, so you can use native or third-party plugins to polish the sounds. Hold Control, drag the rewire filter to a blank track to create a copy, and choose a different output. In this case, I will choose 3031 for both the left and right channels, as it is a mono signal. Now the first synth part is routed to the new track instead, and it can be panned, muted or soloed in the usual way. If you repeat the procedure for 3032 and 909 bass drum, you can mix those parts in the same way. Or, you could create a separate track for every rebirth part, in which case you would no longer need the mix left and mix right signal. Once you have this set up, you may wish to create a folder track containing all the rewire channels. Hold shift to select a whole group of tracks in one go, and press the create folder containing button. You can now press tab to type in a name for the folder. Rebirth's patterns must all be created using its internal step sequences. There is no way to play the synth live from a MIDI input, so there is no MIDI input provided for that device on the rewire filter. Rebirth's bigger brother Reason, on the other hand, has MIDI inputs as well as internal sequencing features, so you have the option to play its modules from your keyboard, or to use Traction's MIDI sequencing functions instead of its own. The rewire version of BFD is another such device. If I choose that instead of Rebirth, some entries appear in the MIDI bus and channel fields below. BFD has only one MIDI bus and is not multi-timbral in the conventional sense, so these fields only contain a single option. Now I need to launch the rewire version of BFD and load up a kit.
I have configured BFD to provide eight outputs grouped as four stereo pairs when in rewire mode. So while it loads the kit, I will create another three copies of the track and route a different output to each. All four rewire filters will send the MIDI that arrives at their inputs to BFD, so you can enable a MIDI input for any one of those tracks to play the drum sounds live, and you can record and edit your playing on any or all of them. Alternatively, you can put the MIDI on its own track with another rewire filter used just to route MIDI to the rewire device. You will need to make sure that no audio is heard from this filter. Pressing the mute button for the track will not work because that will also disable the MIDI clips. Instead you should select the volume and pan filter and press the mute button in its properties panel. Now we can use the track mute buttons to mute individual channels or all the drums by muting the MIDI parts. Soloing tracks like this doesn't work however, as the MIDI parts are muted along with all the others. We can cure this by selecting the track containing the MIDI clips and pressing its Solo Isolate button. We now have one track sending MIDI data to the rewire device and four channels of audio returning from it, which we can mix and process with further filters as needed. If you have the retail boxed version of Traction 3, you should have a special TK version of Drum Core. This is also a rewire device, and it can be used as a MIDI drum module in a similar manner to BFD. Alternatively, you can browse through the loops from the Drum Core GUI organized by the drummer or by the style and these loops will be previewed in sync with the traction edit. When you find the right loop simply drag it into the edit and it will appear as an audio clip. 